Hi Blender fans and welcome once again to my channel. In this tutorial we're going to find the easiest way you can actually make a spring that is fully editable. So first of all let's go into edit mode. So in edit mode we're going to A to select all and you've got face select and line select and we've got vertex select. I'm going to actually select vertex select and right click. As you can see, we've got this menu that appears up and what we're going to do is merge vertices at center. And then go back out of edit mode, pressing the tab key. I'm going to move the actual point there over to about here on the second line. So G and X and just move it to about there. Now we've got this up here, which is object. And what we're going to do is set the origin now to the 3D cursor. Now the 3D cursor is this dotted line in the center, so that's what we need to do. Next what we'll do, we're going to add three modifiers, the three S modifiers, I like to call them. So hit the spanner or wrench, I'm going to add a modifier. Right, the first one I'm going to add is the screw modifier. There we go. Right, in the screw modifier, we can actually change the resolution of our circle. As you can see, we can make it triangular. I'm going to take this up to about 32 because that's going to make a lovely uh, smooth circle. And what we're going to do now is we're going to actually add this screw. So just select that. And as you can see, this now splits our circle. And then with the iterations, we can actually just increase this like that like i said this is called the 3s tutorial and it's how to make a screw in blender right the next modifier we're going to add in is what we call press the s again and what we've got we've got the skin modifier so i'm going to add the skin modifier next and as you can see that's now made our spring into a sp square spring and we can actually just increase this or lower it in the same way. And what we've got down here is we've got the skin modifier. And you can actually do branch smoothness if you want. It's entirely up to you. But uh, we don't need to use anything like that just at the moment. And of course the last one. And the last modifier that begins with S. Let's add a modifier. And we're going to actually search for this with S again. And we're going to add a subdivision modifier. Right, the subdivision modifier determines how smooth your spring is going to be. So if we actually increase this, you'll see the resolution goes up. Now, as you can see, the actual resolution goes up, the more vertices it has. So it might be that you want only want to take this up a couple. And then what we've got up here is we've got a smooth shader button. So we just hit the smooth shader button and that turns our spring smooth. But now you've got this actual spring. Like I said, this is fully ed editable because we can actually change a lot of things. So on the screw, we can actually make it longer by adding it iteration, sorry. And of course, we can make the actual it as long or as tight a spring as we want. So that's in full control on that. So I'm just going to take this up again. In fact, I'm just going to increase that slightly. I want a slightly bigger spring. So we've got our spring and the skin we just leave as normal, apart from hitting the smooth shader button and the actual subdivision. We'll take that down to two. And on the screw here, say you wanted a triangular screw. We can actually make it a triangular screw by reducing this number. As you can see, as it falls, our spring begins to take shape. So in there, we've got a square spring. Take it down to a three. And you've got a triangular spring and so on and so forth. So let's set this back to 16. And of course, the last thing we need to do is just add ourselves a color to this. 
and I've got think I've got one already created and I'm just going to actually go to material and just take it into our viewport and as you can see we have now made myself a black spring and then just to finish this off uh, all you need to do now is just apply all modifiers if you wish or you can leave them as they are just so you can actually get the spring that you want and of course if you want to make the spring bigger all you need to do is go into edit mode and G and X and increase it or decrease it depending on the actual spring you want to make hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you found it useful then please subscribe to my channel don't forget to leave a comment and if you'd like to see something new just drop me a line in the community tab and of course I will try and make a tutorial for you. Bye for now.